Hi everyone, this is Gavin from Gavin's Gadgets. Hope you guys are keeping well. These are the Soundpeats Q32 Truly Wireless Earphones. I'm going to give you five reasons why these are the best budget earphones for under 50 quid. So this is the box that it comes in. I've got to say I was very surprised when I first opened the box. So as you open the box, you're greeted with this really um, great sort of case and it's got a button there it's micro usb and it also shows you the it's charging because i just pressed that the earbuds and they're fully charged this one will be fully charged in a second i've just been using them and that's how it all works i'll show you the buds in a second you also get this little package here which contains this case it's one of those things i've took it out and it was a hell of a squeeze to try and get back in so i thought no there's no point so you get a little pouch to put your buds in although the case itself should be fine to be honest let's just like this out you get a micro usb cable to charge it does recommend not charging off a um, quick charge uh, power brick and just use your pc it doesn't like the fast charging devices at all. The manual, and I will whip through some of that. And then there's this whole selection of buds, and I'm just gonna cover off what's negative about these. So first things first, you've got the wing clips. You don't actually need them unless you're doing it really high powered running. They seem to stay in quite nicely. But the other thing is you have to take these off to charge it in here, because if you look, they just don't, that just doesn't work, it goes in that way. There's no way you can charge the ear thing. So I think they're a complete waste of time. And you've got a few other sizes, which is great, or spares. So you get all that. Um, that's well and truly good. Let's put those in the box so I don't lose them. I already lost one already. And the manual's quite handy because it does go into a lot of detail. And I will just run through some of the um, bits of information here. So it shows you the package contents. It gives you an idea of what everything does. And for those that are interested, these are Bluetooth 5, which is pretty good. Goes to the chipset. It says that you can, the charging case, it can charge 18 to 20 times on both earpieces. It's one hour to charge the actual earpieces and you get a run time of three hours talk time three hours, 80 hours standby time. So they don't last an awful long time, but you do get a lot of recharge from the case. And I thought that was particularly good. It shows you how to wear the earphones. Uh, to be honest, that's pretty easy. It tells you about charging them. Do charge them the first time. Now you can pair them, I'm not gonna go into it, but you can pair them in mono mode or stereo mode so you can use them individually. That's actually quite handy to do. It shows you how to factory reset. It shows you how to pair them. So it's really detailed. And in stereo mode, it shows you the various controls. And the nice thing is that when they're in stereo mode, you can use either bud because you can push down on these things here and you can use them for the play pause. And that I did quite like but the sound in terms of audio comes out of one ear. But again, you can decide which side it comes out of depending on which way you turn them on. So if you turn on, press and hold the first or left or right one, that's one where the uh, if you have a voice calls, the voice calls come out and it shows you some of the actions that you can do um, and so forth. Can you actually... Uh, have these connected to several devices at the same time? No, but you can. I've compared it to an iOS, iPad, and to an Android phone. You just have to go into Bluetooth settings and tap it, and it and it reconnects no problem at all. And that's everything. So very straightforward. Um, I couldn't see any way of updating the firmware on this. So I think it is what it is, kind of thing. So there we go. So let's have a closer look at these, and I'll take them out. They're magnetic. So you've got these little things here and they literally just magnetically go in and then you can see the white light shows you. Case, you wanna know how to charge the case. It's got the four LEDs. Um, that was not part of it. Um, and it's, it's all in all, this is a nice case. For comparison size wise, here is AirPods. So you get an idea um, 
width-wise, they're slightly bigger than the AirPods case. So I'm going to run through um, some of the differences between these. So you can turn these on from a, a connectivity point of view, use them stereo or mono, but you do have to physically press the buttons here to switch them on. No big deal too much here. But they're not as easy as AirPods, which is take one or take two out and they connect automatically. It's not as easy as, again, the Bose, but you just lift out and they will connect automatically to your device. No problem at all. And if you take here, these are the OnePlus Bullet Wireless, pull these apart and they connect automatically. Now there is a negative to the OnePlus and this connection is if you have them in this case, you won't know if you've by accident separated them and they're actually connected to your phone and that's not a good thing in my book. So that's a slight negative there. But anyway, back to the, the sound beats. These are Bluetooth 5. So in terms of connectivity, these maintain a solid connection to the phone. But what I've noticed is that on the left side, occasionally it loses connection. It does happen periodically. So it might be every five or 10 minutes. There's a brief moment where it does reconnect fairly quickly, but it does happen and it is something to be aware of. But because these are Bluetooth 5, what I have noticed is that you don't get lip sync voice issues. These maintain fantastic um, lip sync. So you can watch YouTube videos, no problem, both on an iPad or on an Android phone like a Samsung Galaxy S9. I didn't have any issues at all. So I was very, very impressed. Um, for the money, I've got to say I'm really, really impressed. Sub 50 quid these are. Um, they come in this beautiful case. It does really stand out and it's really, really nice. Now, in terms of sound, well, let's just talk about connections before I jump to that. So AirPods, I think, have the best connectivity, um, whether you're on an Android phone or whether you're on an iPhone. They maintain connection. I've very rarely ever had these lose connection in the probably over a year or since when they first came out. I've never had an issue. The Bose, um, occasionally they do. Occasionally they lose on one side and on some devices there is lip sync. Um, the timing when watching YouTube videos in particular just seems YouTube is more of a culprit. Sometimes you do notice that the voices aren't quite there and that would be device dependent. Um, but that is just one issue. And obviously, because the um, these are a wire design, they have this wire, um, they don't have any lip sync issues. But in terms of sound quality, so these sound pretty nice. Um, I would say they're not bass heavy, over bass heavy. They do have a good amount of bass, but they're not over bass heavy. They've got more of a prominent treble stroke mid-range, but they're not the highest quality. They're not uh, poor or rubbish. Um, and again, I, was, I would be very pleased to have these um, as my only set of earphones. They are slightly better sound quality than AirPods. They're not as good sound quality as the Bose, for sound quality for music, and they're not as good as the Bullet Wireless from OnePlus. But these are cheaper than everything I've just shown you. So there you have it. So you've seen the close up uh, of all the different bits and some of the pros and cons there. But overall, I am very surprised by these at the cost, the build quality, components and parts. And at this particular price point, I haven't come across anything that is as good um, or better than these Soundpeter Q32s. I'll leave some links below because as I said before, they can vary sometimes in price, and you always want to make sure you're picking up the best price for them. Anyway, this is Gavin from Gavin's Gadgets. Keep well, guys, and catch you soon.